Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. In this lecture, we will talk about what is loop. Let me first describe what is looping means. Looping is a sequence of instruction that is continuously repeated until the certain condition is met. In simple words, looping is a continuous task that happens until the condition is true. When the condition is become false, then the looping terminated. The JavaScript has four looping statements. While, do while, for, and for in. One common use of loop is iterate over the element in the array. We will discuss array and advanced looping in the future tutorials. In this lecture, we will discuss while loop. So let me first show you the syntax of while loop. So the syntax of while loop is while in the parenthesis we specify expression and just after that the statement. So first JavaScript will evaluate expression. If the value of the expression is true then it will print the statement until the value of the expression is become false. On the other hand, if JavaScript return false, then JavaScript skip the statement and execute rest of the code. In simple words, while loop only executed when the expression returns true. If the value of expressions return false, then the while loop terminated. To wrap multiple statement in the while loop, you can use compound statement using open and closing curly braces. So let's take an example and understand how while loop works. So in this example, we print 0 to 9 numbers on console. So we create a variable let count is equal to 0. And then we create a while loop using while keyword and in the parenthesis we specify expression. So I will just say count is less than 10. Then I will specify curly braces and in this curly braces we specify console.log and print count value. After that, I will say count plus plus and use semicolon to end the statement. As you can see, we created a variable count and specify value 0 to that variable. Then we created while loop and in the expression, we specified count value is less than 10. Then we wanted to print the count value on console. To print count value, we are using console.log method and to increase count value by 1 we use count plus plus shorthand operator we will take a brief look at operators in subsequent lectures but just for now to increase count value by 1 we use plus plus sign you can do the same thing with this code also so we will just say count is equal to count plus 1. Both statements are equal. But choosing a minimum code will always help you to maximize your performance. So when you execute this statement, you will get 0 to 9 numbers on console. But how did this happen? So the expression will first check the count is less than 10. If it is true, then we print count value on the console. So the JavaScript print 0 on the console because 0 is less than 10. Then the next statement will increase the value of count variable by 1 and now the loop will goes on the top again. Then it will check the expression again with the new variable value. So it will check 1 is less than 10 or not. And if the expression return true, then it will print the count value on the console and again 
increase the value of count variable by 1. So the JavaScript will do the same thing over and over and print 0 to 9 numbers on the console. But how did the loop terminate it? When the count variable value is equal to 10, then the expression become false. Because 10 is not less than 10. So the expression returns false and JavaScript skip the compound statement and finally terminate the loop. You can put multiple statement and complex expression in the while loop. It's upon you how you can use the while loop. So that's it. In the next lecture, we'll explore do while loop. If you have any question, then comment me. I am here to answer your all questions. Answering the questions below will help you to understand this topic more easily. That is all for now. We will see you in the next tutorial.